What's going on? Rob with Three Strong here. Today I want to talk about something that I feel in the fitness community is highly misunderstood and misused. And it's this concept of muscle confusion. I'm sure you've heard it when you've watched the P90X infomercials where uh, based on the science of muscle confusion, you're going to get the best body ever and helps with muscle growth and all that stuff. I've actually even heard it within the CrossFit community, people trying to um, get a better understanding of, oh, it's constantly changing. Is it muscle confusion? Is this, is this the technique that we're using? Um, and there are good things with muscle confusion and there are bad things. So when you, um, let, me, let me just talk about training variables. These are the things that we can change to essentially confuse the muscles, so to speak, and uh, challenge ourselves in a different way. You know, our, our body over time, if we give it a certain stressor, then our body will adapt. So therefore, the next time we do that, it should be easier on our body. But if we just give it the same stress, our body isn't challenged in the same way. That's why, you know, we can walk around with relative ease. That, that's not a great enough stress for our body to create, you know, huge leg muscles. However, if we were <laughs> extremely overweight or we weighed ourselves down, now we have some sort of stress that is going to make our legs stronger, um, increase our you know, um, cardiovascular endurance because it's taxing our body. That's, that's really what we want. We want to tax ourselves in a way that is going to cause a change, but we need to change that stimulus so um, our, our body will continuously grow. So these are the variables. I'm quickly going to go through this. These are the variables that we can change. So for if we say we're training legs, um, we can do a leg press. We can do a leg extension. We can do squats. We can do back squats, front squats, overhead squats. All those will create a slightly different stress on your legs, you know, um, uh, because the load is held in a slightly different way. <clears throat> We can change the speed. We can go fast, slow, medium, whatever it is. We can change the tempo of how fast we move it. Reps and sets. We can do higher reps, low reps, whatever. Um, but overall, the reps and sets is what's considered our training volume. So that's the total number of reps that we do um, of a certain exercise or cumulatively of, a, of uh, our total sets um, for a certain muscle group. You know, we might do four different exercises, four sets each, that's 16 sets total, that's essentially our training volume. We can change that up, do more or less. Rest period, we can have a very short rest period, we can have no rest period and go one right into the next. Longer rest period, whatever it takes, we can change that up and our, our body will um, have to deal with that. The frequency, how many times in a week do, say, we do squats or do legs? Um, do we do it once a week, twice a week, three times, four times, whatever it is, we can change that up. Range of motion, you can go shorter range of motion. I can do partial squats, I can do full range of motion squats, I can, I can do whatever. Exercise order, so I can do a leg extension first, or I can do lunges first, and then I can do squats, or I can do squats first, then lunges first. Um, but notice how I put the exercise at the top. This is, heck, this is really just synonymous with movement. Say I'm training a movement pattern and this is where muscle confusion, people get confused about muscle confusion, is that say you are bodybuilding and you, are, and you really want to focus on a particular muscle. And um, we're not really worried too much about say the function of the muscle, even though we should be. If we have greater strength that improves our capacity to develop muscle mass. And so if you want to develop muscle mass, you need to get stronger, which means you need to train these movements. I'm not going to go into that too much. I'm already getting off track. But anyway, um, say we are bodybuilding, we can change this up and whatever makes our muscles grow, great. However, if you are an athlete and you're trying to, say, get stronger, develop more power, develop more endurance, whatever it is, if we change these variables up too much, we change the exercise, our body doesn't really know what to do. And that's bad. So in this case, instead of muscle confusion, we need a little bit more muscle clarity. What are we training our bodies to do? So 
you need to plan if you are going to change things up you need to plan and keep things within a certain range so say with power lifters power lifters do a heavy a, a max effort day so this is one to two reps 90 plus percent of their max then they have a medium day which is which is going to be or sorry a, a speed day uh, which is still going to be heavy weights but they're going to move it fast and then they have a higher rep day still heavy weights but now they're more in the eight to 12 rep range. That is, that is still keeping it within the heavy range with what they need to do. And they're not necessarily changing the exercises because their muscles need to know how to squat, need to know how to deadlift. So anything that deviates too much from that is going to absolutely confuse their body and they're not gonna know how to change it. They're not gonna go, I'm gonna put my feet here, then my feet here, and then we're gonna change this up when really I need to get better at this movement pattern. And that is, um, if I'm not getting better at that pattern, I'm absolutely confused. On the endurance end of the spectrum, if we focus on a powerlifting workout, um, it, we might be changing it up, but our, our, our body's confused. We're telling it to do the wrong thing. So we need to be more on the other end of the spectrum and keep it within a certain range. You know, What is it that you want to do and create variety within kind of this, this bubble. Um, I'm going on a little bit too long, but I just want to tell you guys, so, so don't feel like you need to change all these variables. Keep the same exercise, teach yourself, you know, if I'm, if I'm gonna squat, let me squat, and then try to change all these different variables, and you will actually get tremendous growth with that. And then after that, you can, try to change up the variable, but, but just try to go down this list. One workout, I'm gonna keep the same reps, let me change the speed, and so on and so forth. Um, I can continue this conversation later. Send me your questions on this one, because I know that's a lot, but um, I will see you guys tomorrow.